NATO is waging war on many different fronts, one of which is the destruction of traditional society around the world, so that society can be absorbed into the global society being created by modern, what has become of modern Western civilization. And then NATO has another agenda, <coughs> taking control of the resources of the world and then using that for blackmail, oil, for example. And then the third agenda is using their military power to advance the monetary agenda of creating one money for the world and that one money would be bogus and fraudulent, not gold and silver coins, no. And then they use their, their military power to wage wars, to advance Israel's goal. Let me say it one more time, that it was a monstrous lie on the part of those who introduced the cause of a state of Israel in the Holy Land and who pleaded for that state of Israel to be established, a Jewish homeland in the Holy Land, the Balfour Declaration, that all that we want to do is to create a home for a people without a home. That was a monstrous blazing lie. They know it. What they wanted to do and they're still pursuing it, is to create a state of Israel that will eventually claim to rule the world. And when that Israel claims to rule the world with what I call Pax Judaica, but there's no Pax in it at all, then according to our eschatology, and back again, I'm at eschatology, a ruler will emerge in Israel who will claim to be the true Messiah. But Prophet Muhammad, Allah's blessings be upon him, said, while describing that man, who would be a Jew, who would be a young man, who would be powerfully built, who would have the curls at the side that the Orthodox Jews have, and he would not be the Messiah. Rather, he would be the false messiah, the antichrist, or Dajjal. So NATO is waging war on many different fronts. One of which is a military front to advance the agenda of the state of Israel.